as a student, I, I don't know why you should engage in things that do not benefit you, okay? Mm -hmm. So everything that we do, it is not pseudo. It is real. Some, everything that you see is real. An interesting conversation there. So I'm here at the University of Ghana, Legon, to expand the conversation on the traditions of horse on the back of a third year student of A.M. Mustard dying following a tragic fire ritual. The Vandals, Katangis, Okwomates and Custodians are strong towers known in the universities for these practices. It is an old one that has become deeply rooted among students. Although the university is a place for learning, some students argue that some of these traditional activities are a form of socialization and entertainment. The rivalry between Commonwealth and Mensa Sabah Halls of the University of Ghana and between the University Hall, popularly known as Katanga, and Unity Hall of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology have often dominated debates on campuses. But recent clashes have made school authorities take drastic decisions. At the University of Ghana, for instance, there's a ban on all such events and gatherings at the two rival halls, while at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Jama and traditional rites have been abolished. The recent death of the chief priest of the Pokuwari Hall at Akentina Pia Minka University Skills Training and Entrepreneurial Development after a fire ritual has opened up the conversation. This is not the first time the issue has come up for discussion, but can this incident bring a final decision on the way forward? When we come to the halls, certainly it's a place to groom the children. So it is one of the places that we should not downplay. Former Chief Justice of the Republic of Okonglu at the Mensa Sabah Hall of the University of Ghana, Supreme Petras Anap, is open for a conversation that will modify the traditions, not a ban. Let's even assume the hall has been there for 30 years, and they've been jumping over a fire for 30 years. Out of these 30 years, only one person has lost their life. So this is not an excuse. What I'm trying to say is they should have found solutions to the guy's problem, that is, he burning, okay? But for us to stop uh, the tradition, to me, it doesn't make sense. He admitted the spirituality of some of the adelines. If there is nothing inside, then there is no need doing it. Then this is sign zero for us. And that is why some of us pass our exams, because we prayed to the one we believe has been giving us the, the, the zeal and the energy to pass exams. And, and we always thank uh, Father Apollo. He is the God of knowledge, the God of intelligence. And always the people who have always believed in him have always become great in wherever they find themselves. My quest to know more about the traditions took me to Tantra Hills in Accra, where I met a former chief vandal at the Commonwealth Hall of the University of Ghana. It's more or less the chief vandal is for the people. So we're there as a leadership position, student activism and all that. You are helping the students also fight for their rights and all, in addition to you studying on campus as well. So it's a place of honor and so I'm privileged to have been in it. Zinas Ansa, who is now a top marketing executive, says the good outweighs the bad. Personally, it got me very confident. You, you, you get that confident enough that you are able to stand in front of people. That fear, that shyness goes away. There's that brotherliness also. Okay, so there's so much that uh, it helps. There are so many positive things uh, that are involved in it. Counseling psychologist and conflict resolution expert, Dr. Emmanuel Kojo Hobson, spoke about the approach that must be adopted to deal with such situations. We may look at these cultures in the various halls as just social impacts are just academic impacts without knowing their impact on the psycho-emotional being of the person. So if we want to do the evaluation or the appraisal based on only the impact we see physically, we may not get the right answer to trigger our discourse. Indeed. The decision to ban or not ban university hall traditions requires careful consideration of the potential consequences. George Quinnin, TV3 News, Accra.